Yeah, hello friends. Good afternoon everybody. This is the weekend tonic with MAC Oladejo. Yeah, uh, I want to first wish Nigeria, I mean, it's, uh, it's 61 years now that Nigeria has gained independence and um, 61 years child or should we call it child <laughs> should i call it 61 years child <laughs> or 61 years uh adult or just one year old man or how do, how do we call it how do we call it however let me just wish us happy independence and um well i hope that god will indeed make nigeria a great place for all of us to be i pray that god will make nigeria um the place that we have desired that it should be a place of our dream a place of our expectation a place of our heart cry right yes many people make jest of us especially um i mean even nigerians make jest that um we're, we're, we're just a religious country and um, our religiosity has produced nothing well it's okay but i would have wanted us to look at it from different perspective you know two parallel lines in those days there used to be separation of uh, the church and the state you know so i won't blame those that you know say all sort of things now nowadays because there is a fusion no separation again but in those days when patriots we are indeed patriots we even had you know separation of uh, church and the state you know however i also discovered that uh, we cannot do without having to say that Christians or believers should be in politics. Probably Nigeria will have been a great place, a better place today, if religious people that are in politics are truly religious people. I don't want to talk about, let me just use that word religious, right? If those that claim to be religious are truly religious people because religion is meant to shape on one's life or reshape on one's life i mean permit me to say that even among jesus's disciples you know where in order of how the bible writes their names even the number 11 he was a politician yes a politician one of jesus's disciples I will say that again one of Jesus's disciples in order of how their names were written in the scriptures let me say the number 11 before the Bible wrote the number 12 who happens to be Judas Judas Iscariot number 11 the Bible calls him Simon the Zealot Simon the Zealot in fact let me see, show, show you how a translation puts it you know Maybe I'll just show you just two different translations, you know, and where the Bible says that, 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 that there is a man among Jesus' disciples called Simon the Zealot. Let me read. So I, I, I like you to first know that even among Jesus' disciples, there was a politician. There was a politician. So for, for us to think that Christianity should not or cannot make you to be a viable politician or politics cannot make you to remain a christian or to remain uh, uh truthfully religious it's it's an aberration right it's that's just a matter of personality but you see people have fused and have merged religion and politics together and i wouldn't say it shouldn't be because even among jesus's disciples we had a politician right and that politician happened to be simon simon the zealot let me read let me read this portion for you mark chapter 3 verse 16 
he appointed the twelve simon to whom he gave the name peter and that one is different and if you look at verse verse 18 of that same passage he said andrew and philip and bartholomew and matthew thomas and james the son of alphaeus the tedious and simon the zealot you see that simon the zealot zealots the zealots in in those days were politicians they were just purely politicians and let me read another translation for you uh, the, the living the living bible that translation says simon a member of a political party you know simon a member of a political party advocating violent overthrow of the roman government you no know, so that simon the zealot was a politician and he was in jesus's uh disciple list you know so i mean if we could have someone that was that close to jesus and he was a politician and it, it didn't the, the 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 fact that he was a politician didn't change because of his personality i will tell you one or two things about his personality that made him you know a commendation that made him a good patriot right to his nation so if we can have such people at the hands of our peers that claims to be patriotic that claims to be patriots i think nigeria should be better but because we have it haphazardly because we have it people just go there they they're not we don't have patriots there or well i wouldn't know if uh, some of them still have that spirit of a patriot but with what we see with the product of the, the the lifestyle of our politicians you know it's hard to come by but i know that there are still some people or some of them that have the art of being patriots you know they want to be patriotic to their nation but probably because of one thing and another but it's not an excuse sincerely it's not an excuse for you to be a politician and remain religious it's 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 welcomed it's 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 needed it's essential but we see that once people get there they mix with other things and they are thrown away you know so having patriots that are religious is the problem we have in nigeria or having politicians having politicians that remain and the, the, with the code and ethics of their religion either you are a muslim or you are a christian i don't see any religion that will support violence or i don't see any religion that truly will give room for corruption like we have it right and we have most of our people they swear they get to office public office and they swear most politicians they swear with either the bible or the quran oh is it what they using to swear that makes them to feel okay god is merciful probably they have made them to swear with um, with high on you know you know that one will not show them mercy you know but you know that's not the bone of contention today the bone of contention today that as we celebrate 61 years it's essential to let politicians know that why not you can maintain the the ethics of your faith you can maintain the practice of your faith and still be a politician and you can be a politician and still be religious but you see it's all the way around in nigeria and that's what I just want to share with us today in this tonic today, right? If Jesus could choose a politician to be one of his disciples, oh yeah, it means we should encourage Christians to go there. It's time to encourage people that are seriously, you know, religious, that are truthfully religious, that knows the faith and that knows the God they serve. Let them be there let them be there let's encourage them to go there don't let sit back and begin to look for patriots when 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 you also can be there 
when you can be there if you can also sponsor people to be there you know let's look for people that are sincerely compatriots gone are the days you know that song that's that that song arise oh compatriot that's our anthem but we don't have compatriots again we don't have compatriots again and you see this simon that was one of jesus's disciple he was a compatriot he was a compatriot in fact some other bibles call him simon the patriot you will see some other if you read good news good news call him simon the patriot that was a patriotic man and he followed jesus he followed jesus he held on to his faith you know so when people get there and they they, they they you question you now begin to place question on their faith you begin to place question on what they do that is not tantamount to their faith why do we see them get there and they do things that is just against purely against their religion i think is a matter of personality is a matter of personality some people look at this simon the zealot i will show you something and that's our own problem our problem with our compatriots today that are in public office our problem is them with them is is just about four or five right just within this short time one most of them are only religious and not repentant they're only religious and not repentant you see before simon could join i mean if somebody could become a disciple of jesus you could know that that person you know changed his mind from being what he used to be to becoming because jesus always told them you know if you want to follow me you know you have to you have to you have to you don't have to change you know even if if he's carried i mean pretended but you see in the personality of this simon the politician that was one of jesus's disciple if you look at his personality he 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 he, he, he wasn't a deceit at all he wasn't a deceit it was he was a man with the right personality i'll give you an example do you know that that same simon the patriot when jesus went to get Semane to pray and they came to arrest jesus Simon Peter, the first Simon, Simon Peter was the one that took out sword, you know, to cut a man's uh, head. But this same Simon, the politician, he was also there. In fact, Bible history has it to tell us that he also had his own sword with him, but he didn't use it. He didn't use it. That to tell you his personality, he upheld personality dignifying personality so you see the problem we have with our patriots is that there are only most of them that claim to be christians or muslims you know they are only religious people they are not repentant people and that's the one problem we have they are not people that have a changed mind or a changed heart that's why when they get there they easily change them you know they easily change them they are not people with personality that is strong, you know, because, I mean, politics in Nigeria now is seemingly like something that if you are not part of a certain court, but there are still some people that are not part of any court and still get there. It's just that it may have some limits, but that's how we have made it. You know, so we don't really have patriots there because people claim to be religious, but they are not repentant. You know, but this man that was a disciple of Christ, he was not just a politician. He was a personality that had a, a mind change towards the right. That was why he could even follow Jesus in the first instance. You know, the second thing, you know, that our, that our patriots, you know, don't do that I saw in this man is, you know, most of our patriots are not sacrificial patriots. They, they are not sacrificial patriots. If we sincerely have patriots, you know, compatriots that are sacrificial, they will get there with the mind of giving their contribution for the growth of their nation and not just getting there for what they want to get. So you will see this man, he left something to follow Jesus. 
that is sacrifice he was a sacrificial man so we don't have patriots like this simon the patriots we don't have people that can give that sacrifice and will say if i perish i perish we don't have that that's the problem we have with our patriots they get there and they join them they see it. this is what everybody is doing and they just fall they fall in line with what everybody is doing they don't want to be paid to they, they, they don't want to be paying the sacrifice of serving their fatherland that's the problem we have but you see this man he paid the sacrifice to follow christ and so patriots are people that are to be sacrificial there are people that have to give up a price, give up something to, to make sure that they get what they envision that their nation should look like. And also, and that's the problem we have. We don't have, we don't have sacrificial patriots. You know, another thing about this man was that this Simon the Patriot, you know, is that he, he, he was not influenced with evil. He was not influenced with evil. You know, if you call yourself a religious person and you become a politician, you become a zealot, you become a patriot, right? And you don't do evil with others. It's, it's like, you, even you yourself, you begin to see your, yourself like a, a, a square peg in a round hole. But it's not meant to be so. Patriotic uh, uh, leaders are meant to be people that is not don't get yourself influenced with evil you can if you are patriotic the spirit of patriotism is to make you get there and influence evil with your good and that's what that's the example i gave to you this man when people came to fight jesus this simon the zealot he also has sword with him the same way the first simon cut someone's hair, he too could have done that, but he didn't do it. That's his personality. He didn't do it. He didn't bring out his sword to cut anyone. So you will see that's a matter of personality. But you see, people have tried to interwove into marry when some people are failing in their political career, they will call that and they say, ah, you see, nah, and, and, and we're a religious nation. And so it's a matter of personality. If we can have patriots that we get there and will decide not to be influenced with any type of evil, no matter be what others are doing, no matter be what your, your colleagues are doing, if we can have someone to begin the race of not joining evil, right? I think we will begin to have patriots. We will begin to have sincere compassion patriots in nigeria and this zealot man he never joined peter, simon peter you, you you remember that this simon peter was even the one that jesus loved he was the one that brought out the sword but this politician that was part of the disciples he didn't do that that's a good credible personality not joining to do any sort of evil and that's where we will say we have compatriots indeed and you see that's that's just um that's just a thing that bothers my heart. Most people, they have the good mind before getting into politics. And when they get into politics and they begin to get higher, higher, the higher they get to, the more you begin to see is as if it's not the same people you used to know. You know, so the spirit of patriotism is a, person, is a personality issue that every, every Christian that gets there that gets the opportunity to get there that we should even give them the encouragement to get there it's a thing that they must imbibe the spirit of patriotism and that's what can make nigeria at 62 at 65 gradually we'll get to become 70 we'll be celebrating 17 is it in backwardness or in forwardness i can't understand so it's just because we don't have people that are true patriots and if we can have true patriots, it will be a different ball game. And lastly, you see this man was a true patriot because of, like I said, his personality. No compatriot personality in most of our politicians. Leave, leave alone whoever they are in or whatever category they have in their religious placement, you know that personality 
is what should be carried along the personality of a patriot and so as i wish nigeria again a happy independence i pray that the spirit of patriotism will enter into our leaders and i also want to implore you let's know people and the type of people we support we give support to right yes if jesus could have a politician among his disciples who says that you as a christian you as a faithful religious person who says you can't be there to make a change it's patriots we are looking for arise O oh compatriots arise O oh compatriots if there is a compatriot spirit in you, why not rise? Why sit back and be and be you know uh, 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 criticizing? Why not come out? Let people give you support. Let our country become the place we all look forward that it should be. Thank you for being part of this weekend tonic today. It is with you know it is with very very. Uh, 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 a crying heart, you know, that I, I come out to do this today. Crying heart for the state of the nation at 61. It's sad. It's sad. You hear, you read news, you know, we, we see many things happening. And it's sad at 61. But, well, let's just keep hope that it will be better. Let's just keep hope that you and I will be patriots in our offices, in our societies. Let's be true patriots. Let's be true followers of Christ, followers of our different religions sincerely. And we can still be patriots to make our society, our nation, a place that it should be. Thank you for being part of this tonic today. I look forward that you will keep joining share it just please share just press the share button and let's let's share this with with people may god build patriots for us and build it in you and i everywhere we are found thank you very much for being part of it today god bless you happy independence again